Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about SMS marketing in Odoo 16. SMS marketing is also known as text message marketing as a promotional strategy that involves sending targeted message to individual mobile phones via SMS. It is a direct and immediate way to reach the customers and prospect as most people carry their mobile phones with them throughout the day. So in order to do the SMS marketing, we have to recharge the credit. So let's go to the settings and under contact section, we can see we can buy credits in order to send text to your contact. So click on buy. And here you can see if your account has any credit here, you can see that or you can buy that by clicking on buy in order to recharge. Here you need to fill your details. So uh, here you can see the uh, amount that you need to make payment. So let me, here you can see the total uh, credits and the quantity that you require. Provide the details. Now you can fill all uh, the details and if you want to make the payment, click on pay now. And you need to link your credit card with uh, the website in order to make the payment. Now let's back to the settings. I'm not uh, going with the process. Now let's back to the settings. Under settings, you can uh, view all the services that are available for you. Here we can see Odoo IAP uh, that can uh, show your credits. So click on view my services. So this shows all the services that are available with the balance of credit. So currently we have zero credits and if you want to recharge, just click on recharge so that you can recharge the credit. Now let's back to the SMS module. So here we can see the SMS marketing uh, window with different uh, stage such as draft, in queue, sending and send state, which is in its Kanban view as a default. And we have another views like list, uh, calendar and graph. And if you want to create a new campaign, just click on new. And here we need to provide the uh, SMS marketing uh, subject. So let me provide SMS SMS marketing subject as Black Friday. Coupons and here we can set uh, the recipients such as contact, lead or opportunities, mail con mailing contacts or sale orders or uh, uh, mailing list. So let me choose contact and let me set the filter by rem removing the existing one. Now here you can see that the total records available with the country uh, record United States is 42 and you can view all the selected records. And under SMS, uh, SMS content you need to provide the SMS content. So this will be sending uh, for the individuals. And Under A-B test, uh, here we can set uh, the allow as A-B uh, testing. So if you enable this, you can uh, send, I mean, recipient will be mailed only once for whole campaign and this lets you different mailing to randomly selected recipients and test effectiveness of the mailing without causing duplicate message. And we can also set uh, the rate of this uh, and uh, you can also set the winner selection manually or with the highest click rate or with the leads, quotations, revenues and so on. So let me set uh, the winner selection as manual. And if you want to create an alternative version of this SMS marketing, you can do so. 
uh, so here we can see that a sample of 10 percentage of recipients will receive uh, the uh, SMS. Now, if I set it as 80, you can see uh, this will be uh, changing. Now, if you want to um, test this message, you can click on test so that we can send a sample SMS for testing purposes uh, to the contact number that we have provided. So let me send this. So a sample message will be uh, sending to the contact that we have given. Now, if you want to schedule uh, the day to send this um, SMS, you can do so. So that on the date and time, uh, the SMS will be sending. So let me schedule the date. And if you want to cancel the SMS, then you can cancel that. And if you want to send the message, just click on the send uh, button so that you will get a confirmation message. So if you want to confirm the uh, sending option, you can just click on OK so that the message will be sent. Now, as you send uh, the message to the individuals or the audience, you will get everything or you will get every details regarding the SMS, whether it has converted into opportunity, whether you could generate or you can convert uh, that into a quotations or whether you have created invoice from that, uh, the click rate, uh, received rate and bounce rate. Now, uh, as you move to the SMS marketing, you can see that uh, it has uh, moved to the send state. Now, if you want to uh, set the priority by using color highlights, you can do so. And if you want to delete the message, uh, you can delete the uh, SMS. And if you want to archive uh, the message, you can also archive that. And now, Let's move to the mailing list. So under mailing list, currently we have six uh, uh, contacts in total. That is uh, three in contacts and six contacts and two mailing contacts. And here we can see the uh, bounce rate, opt-out rate and blacklist rate. If you want to import the contact, you can import the contact by selecting import contact. I mean to which uh, the contact need to be import by selecting the file. So if you want to. Uh, import the contact to all of this you can set that by selecting or uploading the file so let me upload the file after that click on test so here we have an error so let's keep that error let's keep that recorder and click on test so now everything seems to be valid and just click on import so that you can see two records have successfully imported now you can see the count has changed from 6 to 8 and in uh, all the uh, mailing list it has changed. Now if you want to create a new mailing list here you can provide that by setting the name. And if you want to show this in preference you can set that. And here, here you can see the recipients mailing and bounce rate, opt out rate that is uns uh, unsubscribed rate and blacklist rate. Now let me save this. So as you have created uh, the uh, mail, you can uh, see that. Now if you want to import the contact in this, just import the contact. Now let's test that. Yeah, everything seems to be valid and you can just, uh, yeah, import. So currently we have one uh, contact in total and we can also send a uh, mailing. So if you want to send mailing, you can set uh, the mailing over here and you can provide the uh, subject here. And you can choose the recipient, contacts or anything that you want. And you can also set the mail body. So let me choose a mail body. And if you want to customize this mail body by selecting uh, the block, you can uh, set that. So if you want to change the background color or uh, uh, the text uh, and all, you can do so. And under mail bug, we can view uh, this online. And under mail body itself, you can get the mobile preview if you want to view this. Uh, so this is a mobile preview of this uh, mailing list. Now let me uh, send this by confirming the email uh, recipient.
Now under configuration, <coughs> uh, we have blacklisted phone numbers. So if you want to get blacklisted phone numbers, you can get that. So uh, currently we don't have any blacklisted phone numbers. So if you want to block any of the contact, then just add that number and you can save that. And if you want to unblock the number, just click on unblacklist and you here, you need to provide the reason to uh, unblock the contact. Now let me click on confirm so that when you unblock the contact here, you can see that currently this is archived. And if you want to get the link tracker, you can get that also with the details of the created date, create date, page title, button label, targeted URL and number of clicks. And you can also visit the page and you can also set the statistics. Uh, I mean, you can view the statistics with the link tracker as well as the original URL. Uh, tracked URL and uh, redirected as well as the campaign, uh, medium, source, everything. And here you can see the number of clicks in the uh, statistics and from where you, has, uh, you have got that click and all. Now let's back. Now we need to get the analysis of uh, SMS marketing. So just go to the reporting here. If you want to insert this into the spreadsheet, you can do so. And we have different views such as graph view, uh, pivot view and list view. Apart from graph view, we have certain views like uh, bar chart, pie chart, then uh, yeah, line chart and all. And we have different views like stacked view, cumulative view and uh, descending view and ascending view. Additionally, we have some sorting functionalities such as filters and group by. So this can be default or uh, custom. And if you want to set uh, the analysis into favorite, you can do so. Uh, and you can also get the analysis uh, with different measures like bounced, cancelled, clicked, delivered, error, opened, schedule and send as well as the total count of the SMS. So this is how Odo manage SMS marketing. So hope this concept is clear for you. Thank you for watching the video.